Did you know the in-game calendar wasn't added to WoW until the start of Wrath of the Lich King? Before then, if you wanted to schedule raids and events with friends or guildies, it was done by just doing it the old-fashioned way, with verbal agreements or on a guild website, or by using an add-on like Group Calendar. Group Calendar functions a lot like the calendar we have in-game by default. You can click on it in the top right-hand corner, create events, and then invite other players who also have the add-on installed to groups and raid events. Blizzard has a history for putting add-ons in-game that they like, and they thought it was probably time for them to have a default in-game calendar so guilds could have an easier time organizing events. So then in Wrath of the Lich King, with the pre-patch, we got the calendar we have today, pretty much. Blizzard is known for not making too many changes to features once they're added. You can create events and then add people to it by typing in their names. With the correct permissions, you can mass invite people of certain ranks in your guild as well to make scheduling a raid easier. Over time, they added stuff that would be shown to the calendar by default, like special events, holidays, battleground weekends, raid lockouts, weekly events, brawls, and micro holidays. If an event is canceled or deleted, everyone who was invited will get a message in the mail. Deleting events that have already happened will also send messages, funny enough, and it used to be possible to accept or moderate events through the calendar with the WoW Armory. But once they revamped the Armory to what we have today, they got rid of a lot of that functionality. Especially with the removal of the Armory app, which allowed you to check your in-game calendar from your phone. For some reason, Blizzard just kind of removed all of that useful support, and we don't really know why. But with the removal of the old Armory and the Armory app, the only way to check your calendar and interact with it is to log into the game. And that is the very brief history of the in-game calendar. It was a feature that should have been in the game since the beginning, but wasn't actually added until Wrath of the Lich King. 